steam engines were part of the foundation behind the Industrial Revolution. They powered our early trains, boats and factories and continue to be a crucial part of industry today. They were the first engine to be used on a wide scale, designed originally by Thomas Newcomen and then adapted by James Watt. But just how do these crucial pieces of engineering actually work? Well, a steam engine works by burning a source of fuel. In most cases, it will be coal. Uh, the coal burns in a fire, which heats water, which creates the steam required. The steam will then operate a piston inside a cylinder, which will then give you the power required. The steam generated by heating water is entered into a large cylinder, where its role in generating movement begins. Entry into this cylinder is controlled by valves located on top. These valves allow steam to enter one end of the cylinder to push an internal piston along, which in turn is attached to a connecting rod that then pushes and turns a flywheel to give rotary motion. As the piston moves, so does the valve, switching sides, to then allow steam in the other end of the cylinder, pushing the piston backwards and keeping the flywheel rotating. But once the steam has its use pushing the piston, just where does it go? Uh, well, a simple steam engine will just vent the steam that it's used to the atmosphere and waste. But the engine I'm sat on here, the Haythorn Davy pumping engine, uses the steam twice and much more efficiently. It's possible to use the steam twice in engines like this pumping engine designed by Haythorn Davy by the use of a second, larger, low pressure cylinder. When steam leaves the first high pressure cylinder, it still contains a lot of energy. As this steam then enters the larger one, it cools and expands to generate force that can then be applied onto a second piston within, again rotating the end flywheel. This essentially provides double the power from the same amount of steam. An engine such as this pumping engine use a third technique to really make the most of that steam by use of a condenser. With these engines, when the steam leaves the low pressure cylinder, the uh, useful energy that is still there passes into the condenser, where it is cooled down, the steam turns into water, which goes for boiler feed, so you're putting hot water in a boiler, but you also create a vacuum, so that uh, as well as the piston being pushed by steam, it is also being drawn along by the vacuum created. And it's not simply in providing rotary motion like pumping engines and locomotives where steam technology came into its own. The steam engine really did revolutionise industry. With steam engine development, um, when the use of high pressure steam came in, uh, engines were allowed to get much bigger and more powerful, so they could be used in all forms of industry, such as uh, the main form really being cotton mills with spinning, creating clothing, uh, mine working as well, and uh, development carried on from there. So today steam is still used in power stations in uh, steam turbines, which were actually invented in Cambridge or developed here. And uh, a steam turbine basically is you blow steam into a chamber which turns a series of fans. Uh, this then operates or turns the uh, generator, creating power. So that although people think steam is old-fashioned with these engines, it's still used today 